Hi guys, in this week's video, we will be talking about the tunnel of violence. By watching this video, I hope you will become aware of how once you start using violent behaviors, you will enter the tunnel of violence. The tunnel of violence starts with a trigger, something that activates your emotions, perhaps makes you angry, can possibly lead to violence. At this point, you will either become fully violent or you can decide to take a time out. The tunnel of violence is a series of entry points which progressively gets worse if you cannot stop. The first door is psychological violence, which usually is a way of trying to control your partner. Many actions are hard to detect and may be nonverbal. Uh, aggressive looking body language, not speaking, uh, or speaking but condescending, sarcastic, putting down. Without taking a time out, all triggers will bother you and you will easily be led into the second door of the tunnel of violence. The second level is verbal. When you no longer just are sulking in the corner or putting your partner down, you become out and out, aggressively verbal, negative, saying negative things, how she looks, how she acts, about her friends, just to give yourself a feeling of control in a situation. If you do not take a time out, you will possibly go to the next level of the cycle. The next level of the cycle is objects. This is when yelling and screaming is no longer enough and you have to start throwing. You throw your cell phone, uh, you throw a plate, uh, you kick doors. Uh, you make everybody in the room afraid of you. Everybody has to walk on eggshells to be around you and you are out and out scary. After the point of throwing objects and screaming, often guys say, I would never hit a girl, I would never hit my children, but this is the tipping point. You can either search help, you can take timeouts, or you fall into physical violence. There's a very fine line between kicking the door and kicking the dog and then kicking your wife, hitting your wife, pushing her down. Once you have reached physical violence, this is a tipping point. If you do not look for help, ask for help, you can fall into the deepest part of the tunnel of violence. This is homicide or suicide. As I mentioned earlier, you probably said you've never wanted, you never could, you never would hit your wife, never hurt your children. And you probably thought the same thing about suicide or homicide. But an accumulation, accumulation of debt that's uncontrollable, accumulation of people knocking on your door from the DPG, feeling absolutely powerless, the only way you can find power and control is through homicide and suicide. So it is very important, very, very important that once you have reached physical, you must, must ask for help. On the image on the screen, that represents the tunnel of violence. You will see sexual written obliquely across the entire image. When we think of the sexual violence, we think of rape, the extremities of it. But in reality, as in all types of violence that we have seen, uh, from psychological all the way up to physical and to homicidal, sexual violence is incorporated throughout. You might not realize it, but being angry with your partner and withholding sex is another form of sexual violence. Forcing her to do something she doesn't want to do is sexual violence. Commenting on how she's dressed, calling her a slut, degrading, condescending, it's all a part of sexual violence. So I hope this has helped you to understand the tunnel of violence and the importance of learning to use the reset or the timeout. Have a good week, guys.